Welcome everybody to Brockton High Basketball. This is Miles Jackson along with my broadcast partner, Chris Brazil, and we're here at Staff Gymnasium, and we've got the Lady Boxers coming in here at eight and two going up against the Lady Cougars from Notre Dame Academy coming in here at three and six. And Chris, it's gonna be another tough game for the Boxers. Um, nothing's easy when it comes to these um, basketball games here at Staff Gymnasium. Yeah, nothing's easy. Just like last night with the boys game with a, with a really good new mission team. I mean, yeah, yeah. all teams are competitive. All teams give it their, give it their all. And, and a lot of teams play, play for pride. So let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, I'm looking at the, um, the Lady Cougars from Notre Dame Academy. They do have a small team, so that might come into play as the game goes along. Brockton has a, a very good bench, Chris, yeah. as you know. So, again, it's going to be up to bench strength for Notre Dame Academy if they're going to stay with the Lady Boxers. Yeah, I love the bench, especially Keenari King. Keenari King is really a vital piece to this um, team. She's one of the leading scorers of this team, of this Brockton team. Internet Oko is really good off the bench. And let's see, let's see what happens. I like it. So we're ready to tip off Brockton in there. Brockton's on whites and uh, Notre Dame Academy's in their uh, yeah, away blue. Brockton's deep. Brockton's depth is very deep this year for the girls. Oh, Brockton wins the tap. Elizabeth Williams inside to Fernandez. Back out top. Williams with the shot. And it's no good off the rim. And they're going to call a foul. And they're going to call it on uh, Jayla Smith. Notre Dame gets it down. Shot is missed. Rebound Notre Dame. They miss again. Miss one more time, but finally, boxes, Lady Boxes get the rebound. And here they come. Williams goes right in the paint, dishes off to Went, and she misses the shot. Ball is loose. Notre Dame has a break, stops and puts it right off the glass. It's good, it's good awareness of stopping and not moving afterwards to, yep. to call the travel. That was Maria Pache, the senior guard for uh, Notre Dame. Yeah, the Lady Boxers are having a, a dominant season. They're winning the games by an average about 22.2 .2 points on this eight and two run so far. So let's see what they can do against a weaker three and 16 tonight. Exactly. In the corner is the Williams. She stops and pops no good. That was Alexandria Williams. Cougars working around, they got it up top. Pass almost thrown away. That's Foley. And the shot is blocked by Went. What a block by Went. Good, a good shot, a good defender in Jade Went. Williams with, with, has, her, with her bigger body. Yes, Williams has the ball out top to a sister. Inside the Went. Little hook shot, and it's good. Nice job by um, Brockton's guards to work it inside to Went. And the Lady Cougars down quickly. And almost stolen by Fernandez. They try to get it inside and there's gonna be a foul. And that'll be on uh, Jade Went, her first. See it right here. Yeah. They get it inside and they're gonna call a ticky tack foul. So five five forty three left in this first quarter. Free throws missed, so we have a three two Cougar lead early on this first quarter. Inside the went, back outside to Jayla. Williams goes to the paint, dishes off inside. Nice shot by Fernandez. She was ready for the pass and puts it nicely off the glass. 4-3, boxer lead. Yeah, Angelina Fernandez really improved her game this season. 
She Ooh. actually, that was a, as a, as, um, that was a three point play there by number 11. As Notre Dame hits, hits the three. Jalen Fernandez really, Angelina Fernandez really improved the game this season. She actually started off the bench and really improved and really. Yes, yeah, she has. Got promoted the starting role. Yeah, she's following in her sister's footsteps. And you see here, a three by Ava Foley, a good shot. And here come the Lady Cougars. Oh, short shot is no good off the glass. And it'll be uh, Box's ball. Yeah, the Lady Boxes are starting off a little slow, but it's the, it's the truth for all the Brockton teams this year, the boys and the girls. Yeah, they, they are slow they're, starters. They're really good, but they just start off slow. They find, they find their niche towards the middle, towards around the second quarter, so. Okay, in the corner, Fernandez trying to get it to Went, but uh, she could not get a hold of it, so it'll be uh, Lady Cougar's ball. And this um, Notre Dame team does not waste any time getting the, getting the ball down the court. Yeah, they, yeah, they're getting the shots off early. They're attacking Brockton. Went inside. Shot is good. It's good by Went. Nice job, Brockton, getting in, inside again. Long shot is no good. Lady Boxes with the rebound. That was Jayla Smith. Williams throws it away. Alexandra trying to get it over to um, Fernandez, but it was a bad pass. Yeah, Alexandra should have been a little bit patient instead of passing that. Should have dribbled a bit, held the dribble, and then made a decision. Two on two is no good. Notre Dame comes out of there with the rebound and stolen by Williams, but she knocked it out. Nice defensive play by Williams. She anticipated it. I love the captain. I love the senior captain, Anile Lorenzo, on the court for the Lady Boxes, number four. Good, a good three-point shooter. Yes, a she good is. Three -point shooter. Yes, she can give you firepower if you need it. Ooh, nice pass underneath and in. Basket by Ava Foley. Good passing by the Lady Cougars. And it's to be a foul. And that was on Haley Roberts. So uh, Lady Boxers will take it out on the side. Williams has it inside, goes to the, in the basket, Ooh, misses a shot in the paint. Good defense. They look inside, and the shot is missed. Went with the rebound. Yeah, the boxes are actually, Lady Boxes are, are playing pretty good defense, just causing this Notre Dame team to miss the shot. They attempted a lot of shots, as you said, early on. Lorenzo uh, hits the shot. Like you said, she's deadly outside. If she hits the first one, that's a good sign. Man, she's just a consistent shooter. In and out. Here comes Alexandria. Going coast to coast. Ooh, nice dish off to Went. Nice job by Alexandria Went. I mean, excuse me, Alexandria Williams. Took it all the way down, used her dribbling skills and dished it, fed it nicely to uh, Went. Alexandra Williams is one of the best female facilitators I, I've, I've been around and I've seen. She's a, just a really good passer of the ball. A great offensive player. A great all-around player, as a matter of fact. Shot is no good. Lorenzo comes out of there with the rebound. And here comes Williams. Sees, goes ahead to Montero. In the went. Nice job. Went doing a nice job moving without the basketball, coming down the court where the action was and was fed nicely by um, Montero. Yeah, Went yeah, Went is obviously doing an incredible job. See it right here. This is actually yeah. Williams dishing Elizabeth it off. Williams. Oh, Lorenzo. Lorenzo with this three. 
something. She loves she loves the three ball. Yeah, I think Lorenzo. She's one of the more deadly shooters, outside shooters for the uh, boxes. Yeah, she yeah she really is. That's uh, she comes off the bench and gives them good depth. Yeah. as you said, great great bench play by the by the lady boxes. But but Jade went outscoring the outscoring the Cougars eight to seven by herself. So and the lady boxes should look, go to her early on and continue it. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're, they're using her inside with her strength, but. You know Jade Wink can hit from the outside if necessary, but they, the coach for Brockton um, sees the um, the mismatch inside. Yes. So Jade Wink is taking advantage of that inside, and, and like you said, she's got about eight points. Yes. They, I think they should do that all, all night long. Continue it. Like Lionel Richie says, all night long. <laughs> So 13 7 lead, 134 on the clock here in the first quarter. Brockton finding its groove. Like the boxers playing a, thought they were playing a zone, but I don't think it's a zone. Yeah, it looked, it looked kind of it looked kind of funky to me too. Yeah, with a two three. As we see Notre Dame switch to the 2 3 themselves. Yes. Ooh, nice anticipation. And it missed. Easy oh. bunny missed. Haley Roberts got to make those shots. 49 seconds on the clock. Inside. Montero oh. unfortunately hit the back underneath the basket. Underneath the backboard, excuse me. Oh, Lady Cougars come back quickly with 33 seconds on the clock. And a, a good swish. Shot. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Maria Pache. It was well contested by Williams, but a better shot, better offense. Almost got a piece of that. Foster Williams. Back out top. Shot clock's Ooh. down to four seconds. And shot is missed, and back yes. comes the Lady Boxers. But time runs out here in the first quarter with the Boxers up by four points, 13 to nine um, score. And uh, Chris, what do you think about that first quarter? Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a decent um, first quarter for the Lady Boxers. They should, they should jump out to a, a more larger lead. But New Mid but um, Notre, Dame, Notre Dame has been getting the shots off. They had, they had the ball. They had a a larger time of possession than the Lady Boxers. That's, that's what kept them in the game. Yep. Well, the Lady Boxers bit. had a good inside game that first quarter. They did the right thing feeding it to Jade Went yes. and a few other ball players. But um, I tell you, the Lady Cougars, they're hanging in there. They're only down by four points. And you see that they're not, they don't really want to play the half court, so they try to get down quickly. So the boxers won't have a chance to set up that half court offense. Yeah, and, and the boxers are very deadly in that half court offense, as we see. They just have a lot of offensive playmakers on the team. And let's see. And as we see, Internet Cole, I like I like her game. Let's see what she can let's see what she can provide. Yeah, one of the Oko sisters are out here. So beginning of the second quarter here at Staff Gymnasium, I'm Miles Jackson along with Chris Brazil. And this is BCA Sports bringing you the best in South Shore high school basketball. We're watching the Lady, lady Boxes go up against the Lady Cougars of Notre Dame Academy. Yeah, they want to get Jade Went inside, but. Montero. And Montero can hit that shot too, Chris. Yeah, Nailani Montero, she could definitely hit that shot. She she has some she has some spurts of uh, spurts in her game. She'll surprise you with some things. Ooh, another outside shot. Hit by Haley Roberts. 16 to 11. 
Get it inside. Back out. Back inside to Wint. Wint's in the paint, back out to Jayla. Inside, nice job there. Oh. Nice pass. Great pass. Elizabeth Williams, the zip pass right in the middle. Annette was ready for it. Antoinette. Steele Williams. And she makes the shot. That was a tough shot. It was good defense, tough and she shot. still made the shot. Yeah. So uh, Lady Cougars call a timeout, which is a good timeout with 6.27 on the clock because Brockton got a little run there. Yeah, it was a little run. Let's see, let's see how the um, Notre Dame Academy responds. Let's see right here. Great Elizabeth, anticipation. Great anticipation by Elizabeth Williams. Dribbles, dribbles. One-on-one -on -one situation. She takes it to the rack. Yeah, nice job there. Little boxes up by nine points. Yeah, this is this is the time where we see the boxer teams really show out and dominate, and yeah, well, and do their thing. You can see they did not miss a beat. Brought in some substitutions. Didn't miss a beat. I'm not sure if Notre Dame Academy has brought in, brought in anybody, but um, whoever they bring in, they're gonna have to step up. Yeah. Yeah, as you said, they're they're, they're a little short on their on their side of the end. Bo the lady boxers have the bigger bodies. Yeah. And yeah, let's yeah, I think the lady boxers just keep on doing what they're doing. Yeah, this timeout this timeout will I think this timeout will freeze Brockton a bit though. I think the, I think it'll freeze them. It was a smart timeout call. Lady Coos in the corner, hits the shot. That was uh, Kristen Barrett. Notre Dame Academy is just shooting well from the three. They're, they're keeping themselves in the game. Yeah, all of a sudden, the last three or four minutes, they've been hitting that outside shot. Yeah, the Lady Boxers have to defend that a bit better. Shot is no good from the paint by Antoinette. Again. Shot is good by Kristen Barrett. Yeah, that, that was great confidence by Kristen Barrett just to take that shot. Antoinette takes the shot, misses, rebound, Notre Dame. Long bomb is no good. Williams with the rebound. And backcourt, you saw it right there on yeah. the screen. Yeah. Wait, went, touched the, um, you'll see it right here. Well, here's a Notre yeah. Dame three nice point. Shot. Yeah, and they've been hitting those, like I said, the last few minutes. Yeah. They've come down and hit those shots. Yeah, they've been doing a good job from three. They're shooting a pretty good percentage, percentage from three. Again, outside shot is good. Kristen Barrett starting to heat up. 4.48 left in this second quarter. You see the score, the Cougars are back in this basketball game. Went to the corner. Ooh, they're gonna call travel. Yeah, Notre Dame is just really doing a good job on the defensive end. They're forcing Brockton to give up the ball with turnovers and missed shots. With the 2-3 zone, they really want Went inside. And they're really just they're triple teaming her in the paint, and, and, and they're, they're not they're not sort of figuring it out. So right, far. and putting the whole equation together with the good defense, that all of a sudden they're coming out with the hot offense. Yes, <laughs> they've been hitting their shots. So Notre Dame comes in with some subs. We'll see what they can do. This will be a big test for the uh, Lady Cougars. Williams with the ball, Fernandez. Renzo thought about it, but Williams takes it. Air ball. 
And Fernandez comes out of there and brings it back out top. Wait, Lorenzo with a bomb, no good. And there was some body contact, so they're gonna call a foul. And that'll be on Lorenzo. So Grace Callow will be at the free throw line. She misses her second shot. Williams got it. And Lorenzo takes the shot in and out. Williams looking for someone. Finds Jayla. She misses. Williams thought about it. And she's going to get fouled. <laughs> so Brockton will take it from underneath. Lorenzo with the shot missed. But Fernandez is there with the rebound. Went with the three. In and out. Shot is missed by Tannis, and she gets it. Good offensive rebound by Tannis. She did not give up after the first miss. Good, good decision by, good shot selection by Rebecca Tennis. Wasn't it? Wasn't, a, wasn't afraid to take that, wasn't afraid to take that shot. Oof. They get into corner to Williams. Tannis. Tannis is asking for it. Oh. And they're gonna call it jump ball. Good defense by the Lady Cougars. Getting ready to draw it up. You'll see Went here with the long three yeah, in and out. Misses. But Tannis with Tannis. the yeoman work. Missed the first one and gets the second shot. Yeoman effort. Yes. Williams, in and out. A lot of the uh, boxer shots from the outside have been going in and out. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. don't even come in here. Great defensive play by Alexandra Williams. Don't even come in here. Do we have that? Yes, we do. Again, Cougars get it down quickly, Chris. Yes, they get it down quickly, but Alexandra was right there to answer. That's a foul on Rebecca Tannis. So two minutes, 11 seconds left in this uh, second quarter. We'll see this beautiful defensive play by... Alexander running the, yes. running the lane correctly. Says not in my house. Says not in my house. Perfect timing by Alexandra. Fernandez has the ball back out top. And it's stolen. Little guard comes out of there. Nice fake. And she hits the shot. That, shot. that was uh, Ava Foley. Very patient with the shot. Let the defense commit. Oh, that's great. Oh. Yeah, she's got to hold on to those. That pass is right there for her. She has to catch it. She has to catch it. Boxes with a one point lead with uh, one minute 37 seconds left in this second quarter. Got a basketball game, folks. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it seems like, seems like it's gonna be an interesting one, honestly. Oh. That was on Alexandra Williams. Oh, 
No, shot is no good. Went with the rebound. Kicking the boxes with 112 on the clock. And there's going to be a Notre Dame foul. So that'll be taken out of bounds. Nobody's in the bonus yet, Chris. Yeah, I think, yeah, this game's gonna eventually, uh, this game's gonna eventually get the free throws late, I could tell, if it, if it remains close. And free th I think free throws could decide this game, honestly, by the way it's looking right now. It's Williams set, shot is missed. Man, the Notre Dame defense is just really looking good. They're just shutting down the Brockton offense. 43 seconds left in this second quarter. Ball is knocked away. Good defense by Elizabeth Williams. Oh, wow. And they're gonna call that on the Williams sister there, uh, Elizabeth. That's Kristen Barrett at the free throw line, and she, nope, nope, that's number three, Grace Callow, who makes her first free throw attempt. Nope, that's, no, that is uh, Kristen Barrett. Yeah, number 13, her hair was covering her number one numeral, so she makes both free throws. Brockton trying to get a couple of points on the board, and they lose it again. Uh -huh. And quickly, the academy comes down. Lady Cougars on a roll here. Hits! Maria Pache. Yes. Great shot. Cougars got a four-point lead with five seconds left on the clock and running. I don't you know. Gotta, you gotta do the they know? Off. Do they know? Shot is no good. So time runs out here in the second quarter. And the Lady Cougars have a 26 to 22 lead. Here's that last. Two point basket, I believe. And Mary Piche. Yes. Hits it all bottoms. Nothing but net. Great shot from her. So, right now, Chris, um, the Lady Cougars of Notre Dame Academy got hot there the last, say, four minutes of that uh, second quarter and basically shut down the boxes. Yeah, they really shut down the boxes. Their 2 3 defense is just. Brockton can't figure out the 2 3 the two three zone defense. They don't know how to answer it. And. They just can't get they just can't get their shots off. They've been making careless mistakes and they, they just can't really solve it. They can't really solve it at all. Well, I'm sure coach is gonna go inside and talk to the lady boxes and uh, I'm sure they'll come out with some adjustments. But for right now, we'll bring you with second half action in a moment. Welcome back everybody to second half action here at Staff Gymnasium. I'm Miles Shackton along with my broadcast partner, Chris Brazil. And Chris we got the Lady Cougars really hanging tough with these um, Brockton boxes. Yeah, they're hanging tough with the better team, and, and Brockton really has to um, show out really now. I, I like the addition of um, Neilani Montero on the court. She's she's been she's been playing a pretty a pretty good game so far, and actually the and, and the Lady Boxes have to figure out the um, Notre Dame Notre Dame defense. They've been the Notre Dame defense has been very good. Okay, Notre Dame has the ball. They work it around on the half court offense. Shot is good. I believe that was number three, Grace Callow. Wow. I mean, the lady boxes just not quite getting there on the on the three ball. Yeah, and actually it was Ava Foley, I believe. Notre Dame has some had some open threes in this game, but that one, but that shot wasn't open though. You gotta go up strong. Oh. Jade went with it inside, tries to get it off the board, and no good. Notre Dame comes out of there with the basketball with a seven point lead. Shot is good. Maria Pache. And these Notre Dame uh, Lady Cougars are on fire and a call, uh, timeout by the Lady Boxes with 7.05 on the clock. You'll see the replay here. Pache hits Pache it. Pache with a great shot. Yeah. And she's showing her uh, senior 
leadership there. She's one of the captains for this team. Yes, she is. So Brockton calls a timeout with a 10-point deficit that the Cougars have put on them with a hot hand from the outside, Chris. They've been they've been electric from from the outside, and and, Bro and the Lady Bucks just can't seem to figure it out. Well, one thing, one thing, been, excuse me, Chris. One thing they're gonna have to do, they have to do a better job rebounding on the defensive end because yes. it's just no excuse that Notre Dame Academy should be out re rebounding the Lady Boxes. They need to stick going in and start mixing it up. Yeah, that means that means that means the that means the bigger ladies, as in Jade Went and um Angelina Fernandez, they gotta get they gotta get their they gotta get their boards up. Yep, along they, they with, gotta box out along with the um the play of the um, Williams sisters. They're gonna have to really mix it up. Okay, Montero with the ball. Jayla crosses all the way across. And it'll be box of ball. Yeah, Alexandra Williams, she has to be patient with her dribble. Yeah, she, yes. And plus she kind of forced it in there. She did force it in there. She, but she, she's, a good, she's a good passer. She just has to be patient and, and allow her offense to set up. Okay, Williams with the ball in the corner. Back out to his sister. Over to Montel inside. Wow. And they had shot no idea. Violation. They had no idea about the shot clock that it was going off because Williams, once she had the ball, she should have threw it up. Yeah, the team, the team, the bench should have helped them out with that one. Yeah. They have to be a little bit more aware. Good defense again by the Notre Dame Academy. Oh, nice. stolen. <laughs> and Williams puts it in. That was uh, Alexandra. That was a pick. That was a pickpocket steal. I like it that. Sure was. was in and out. Here comes Alexandra. Throws it up. No good. It's kind of off balance. Long bomb is no good. Long pass stolen by Pache. Three on one. Wow. Shot is good. Not a good pass. Brockton's going to have to square up on the passing because right now it's killing him. Oh, behind the back. Wow. I don't think the lady boxer was ready for that pass by Williams. And that's last two trips down, Brockton has thrown the ball away. Yeah, and the, and the 12, late, yeah, it's a 12 point game. Yeah, Lady Cougars have caught, have, uh, yeah, nice three by Montero. Neilani Montero with a great shot. But the Cougars have capitalized on Brock, um, Lady Box's mistakes. 5-13 on the clock here in the third quarter. And this will be a foul on Montero. Alexandra Williams. With the, with the steal and lays it up. Yeah, like you said, she just picked her pocket. Yes. <laughs> her shot is missed. Alexandra Williams needs to continue to do more of that. Along with her teammates. Rebound Montero. Elizabeth Williams has the ball. Decided to throw a bomb and no good. Wow. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. the ball. Lorenzo, she's going to take it. Shot, no good. Went with the rebound. Montero with the shot, no good. And they're going to call a foul on Lorenzo. I mean, I mean rebounding. Just, I just, I just don't see the rebounding there for Brockton, as you said. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just don't see the re I just don't see the rebounding for Brockton. They're really just not showing up on the boards. And that'll kill you. Rebounds wins games, honestly. Yes. Shot is good. That was number ten. Ellie. Ellie Hilzebeck. Hilzebeck. Long bomb by Lorenzo, no good. Lady Box is just standing around, nobody going after the basketball. Long bomb is no good. And there's a foul. Nice hustle by Montero. Yeah, good hustle by Montero. To get the call in her favor. Battled, the, battled, battled on the board, which is something I, I wanted to see. Okay, timeout by the Lady Boxers with 3.59 on the clock here in the third quarter. You see the score. Lady Cougars still up by 11. So they've increased their lead a little bit. Lady, uh, the Lady Boxers still hasn't been able to figure out what needs to be done, but we can see here what needs to be done is to get in there and start banging the boards, getting second and third attempts on the offense, giving the Cougars maybe one attempt on, the, um, on their offense and get that rebound. One problem is Lady Cougars are hitting those outside shots here in the second half like crazy. So the Lady Box is going to have to get and D up on them outside shots. And I kind of I kind of can't figure out why have they, they haven't done that lately. I mean, they're not Ding up at the three. They've been making they, they've been making a high percentage of their three-point shots. I really don't know why. It's a little it's a little error. It's an error yeah, in their heads a little bit. I, I saw the first minute of, of the ball game Brockton was really coming up on the three-point shooters but then they kind of laxed off again and uh, the Lady um, Cougars have taken advantage of what Brockton has what the Brockton defense has given them. Yeah, yeah and they've been executing on that really really well. So it'll be uh, Lady Boxes Lorenzo will take it out. You gotta, I, I believe you should, you should attack that zone defense if you're Elizabeth Williams. Go straight to the paint. Now Lorenzo for Long three. bomb is no good. Nice rebound by Fernandez. Yep. What Brockton needed. Long bomb is good. That's good. Maybe that'll jump start the defense a little bit. Yeah, should. Williams with the ball. Gets in the paint. Nice pass to Fernandez. Oh. And she hits the backboard. Back come the Lady Cougars. You gotta D the three. You gotta D the three. You gotta D the three. Ooh. You're right. Oh, Antonette should have stayed right on her. You're exactly right, Chris. They cannot ill afford to let those shots keep falling. Because right now it's all money for the Lady Cougars. And they get it inside the went. She tries to put it up and is fouled. You'll see it right here. Yeah, Cole. Oh, this is uh, Lorenzo. Dish to Lorenzo for three. Lorenzo, Lorenzo. Looks like Lorenzo's going to need much more of that tonight with this, with this deficit so far. Yeah, Box has cut it down to 10. Two, 250 left in this third quarter. And Jade wins. Seems like she hasn't gotten the ball in forever. And you know, in the first quarter they were feeding her, but I haven't seen a lot of feeding to Jade Went. Yeah, the 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 Notre Dame defense has been doing a good job on her. Yeah, they, Notre Dame defense has done a good job starving uh, the ball from Jade Went. You got to do the three. Notre Dame with the rebound. You can't, you can't, you can't allow that rebound if you're the lady boxes. And you'll see the three-pointer here. This is what they've been doing consistently since the second quarter. Nice shot by Ava Foley. Sort of confused. Internet call on the shot. And, we oh. and one three. Wow. That's by Marie Pache. The Lady Cougars are lighting it up here at Staff Gymnasium. We'll see it right here. Internet call. You see the foul. She makes it. 
Antoinette, if she's going to go over there and foul the free throw, sh I mean the uh, outside shooter, then she needs to get a piece of that ball at the same time. Yeah, yeah you just you, gotta, you you've got to put your left arm up. You can't. And jump. You've got long arms. You should have got a piece of that. And I got to give credit to the Notre Dame bench. They've done a pretty good job when they, their substitutions. They've held their own. Long bomb by Williams is oh. an air ball. She was a little bit too far out from the three. She was at least three feet away from the three-point line. Yeah. I mean, if you're the lady boxer, you gotta, you got to set some screens. I haven't yeah. seen any screen plays so far. I think that was a shot of frustration yeah. on Williams' yeah, part. You really got to set some screens for the lady boxers. Wow, another... Another open three, which is a bad, a bad thing. The lady boxers are just haven't been being the three. Which is an open three. We gotta get that rebound. Nice, go. nice job there by Layla. Depina within corner tries to dish it inside, but stolen. That was a forced pass. Notre Dame um, offense is playing very smart, using some clock here. Yeah. Notre Dame was literally, oh, she got the rebound. Yes. Wow. You just got to stay on your man. Oh, the, but the. So uh, Notre Dame got a fresh 30 second clock. It's down to 20. And again, they're going to use some of this clock. Nice block. And nice block, man. yes. And they're gonna call a foul. <laughs> call a foul on Wit. Yeah. You got here a nice block by Alexandra Williams. I mean, I mean, Miles. Notre Dame is literally telling Brockton that they want to shoot the three ball. That's what they're telling them. And Brockton can't seem to figure out the defense to stop it. And the Cougars are. Lady Cougars are taking advantage right here in Box's um, home home court. And you see the score right there, 45-32. The Lady Cougars coming in here at, at three and six, and the Lady Boxers coming in at eight and two. So you can throw out those um, stats right there. Uh, the Lady Cougars came to play today. Yeah, they really came to play today. They're, they're, just, they're, just doing, they're just doing what they're good at, which is the three ball. And and rebounding because they have definitely outshined the Lady Boxers on rebounding on the offensive end as well as on the defensive end. Yeah. And when and when you got that, this is what this is what you see for a score. And with what with those equations along with the three hot three point shooting, this is what you get. Exactly what you get. And the Lady Boxers just haven't responded well. They haven't responded well. So we got 59 seconds left in this third quarter. Run the break if you're Alexandra Williams. Williams gets in the paint, tries oh. to dish it to Tannis, but it was, wasn't a good pass. And she's thrown the ball away quite a number of times this evening. You can see the frustration on her face. Nice steal. Oh. oh. Great hustle there by Picard. Pache, excuse me, Maria Pache did not give up even though the ball was stolen. Here it is right here. Yeah, You'll see the hustle. Great, def great yeah. defense by Lonnie Montero. Alexandra Williams tried to finish it, but Pache, but Pache really, really, saved, really saved her team. Yeah, she, she really hustled for that ball back. And um, I believe, um, yeah, the whistle was for um, the coach called a timeout when she had the ball. So the Lady um, Cougars will retain the basketball with 37 seconds left in the third quarter. 
and um, the Notre Dame Academy is really taking this um, this um, Brockton High the Brockton High fans out of the ball game. Yeah, the fans the fans have been very just silent. You could hear a pin drop here, other than the ball bouncing. Yeah, a lot of the fans are kind of stunned that. Um, Notre Dame Academy coming out of Hingham, Massachusetts, has come up here to box a territory and really um, handled the boxes up until this point. Still got a quarter to go of basketball. But right now, 33 yeah. seconds on the clock till this third quarter ends. And there's a steal. Got to take the I'll take. They're going to dribble out the clock. Oh. And Williams lost the ball. Nice. Ooh. Call it a foul. foul. But that was a good foul. That, that was a good foul. 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 Alexander Williams seems to be the. She's really hustling. It's just uh, things just aren't falling for her. There you go. There. She just lost the basketball. She lost the handle of the basketball. Yeah. But, but good seems, foul. She seems to be the only one showing up for Brockton so far, honestly. Let's see, but uh, how Jade went. I'll tell you, Jade Wentz showed up at the beginning of the ball game, but they really haven't, like, again, they really haven't fed her the basketball they, they, and got her involved in the half-court offense. The Notre Dame defense have been doing a good job on Yes, her. Notre Dame defense, you got to give them credit. So we got 10 seconds on the clock. Long shot by Montero, no good. So there you have it. Time runs out in the third period. Boxes in quite a hole. It's a big hole. Yep, score 47-32. This is Brockton Community Access Sports. I'm Miles Jackson, along with my broadcast partner, Chris Brazil. And um, I really can't believe my eyes, what I'm seeing. But uh, this is what happens when you, when you got a team that comes in here and really hustles the whole time and, and just hustles. That They're all over the court, rebounding going for loose balls, and has caught the uh, Lady Boxers off guard. Yeah, they, re yeah, they really came to play the, 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 the Notre Dame Cougars, the, lady, the Notre Dame Lady Cougars. They found their niche, they found their niche. They really, they really just took the souls and hearts of, of the Lady Boxers. The Lady Boxers just can't respond. I, I, I just see Alexandra Williams, the only one fighting for the ball on the team. Nile Lorenzo, I believe the Nile Lorenzo was probably the, the last basket that was scored for this lady boxing team. I think Lorenzo needs to, what she needs to do, she, she's been hitting a few shots, but she's been missing missing more than she's hit, so she needs to start following her shot. Yes, yes. If she's going to continue shooting those threes, she needs to follow her shot. And a bad pass there by Fernandez. Ill advised pass, coaches. Tell him, Fernandez should have threw it to the top of the key. So here we go. Let end the um, beginning of the fourth quarter. Ooh, nice play right there. Little back door. Long bomb. And Fernandez comes out of there with the basketball. Long three, a little bit too far out. Yeah, lo a long three is not the answer right now. Exactly. If you're going to shoot a three, get near the f um, three point line. Oh, she that, yeah. she, you're, you're three feet away from the three point line. Take a step or two in. She should have She should have dribbled and made a dis better decision. She, yeah. The lady boxes have the basketball. Shot is no good. Back come the Lady Cougars. Good defense by Wynn, staying at the three-point line. Good defense by Lorenzo as well. Oh, nice job by Pachette. 
Pache. Long bomb by Montero, no good. She followed a shot, a little late following a shot, but she got to it. And that's what the Lady Box is gonna have to do, follow every shot that they shoot, because they need more than just one chance. And Ooh, Lorenzo wow. fouls. Yeah that, yeah, that foul was a bit out of frustration. Yeah. But again, she should have fouled a shot. Exactly, yes. Yeah. And the yeah. streaking Lady Cougar is hammered by Lorenzo. And who is that? Number 13, Kristen Barrett will is shooting the free throws. By the Lady Cougars, they do not look like a 36 ball club. Oh, they really do not. Shot is missed. Jayla Smith in there. And they're going to call a foul on Barrett. Good hustle by Jayla Smith to get in there. She's not afraid to mix it up underneath. Yeah, Jay yeah Jayla Smith. Yeah, Jayla, Jayla Smith, she's an interesting basketball player. Let's see. She has to contribute for this team. Three-pointer by Montero. 6.04 on the clock. Boxes with a full court press. Lorenzo comes out of there with the rebound. And they fed it to Jade Went, and she is fouled. So she'll shoot two. Brock did a nice job getting the ball down quickly and feeding into uh, Jade Wendt. Yeah, yeah it was, it was a, let's see if they can do that more often. Haven't seen much of it tonight. Unfortunately, the boxes are down by quite a bit. You can see the score. That is not an error. To, Those are, to, that's the exact score. That's it. Yep, 52-35. Box out, Flo. Second shot is good. They get it to Barrett. Long three is no good. Jayla Smith with the rebound. Oh, nice, move. Oh. nice spin move, but a little short. So Notre Dame Academy calls a timeout with 5.21 on the clock. A 52-36 uh, Lady Cougar lead at the moment. Well, uh, it's just, it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a stunner. The, 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 the Lady Cougars, they really, they look, they look like an outstanding basketball club right now. Doing this to the better, superior Brockton team. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking now, I don't know how much superior Brockton is, but um, it's superior in their record superior coming in, in here. Record, yeah. But right now, Notre Dame Academy looks like the more superior team. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're blowing a, them out, a, yes. a better outside shooting team, a better rebounding team. And they're much, they're much more shorter in stature yes. in, as well. I'm just, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, that's, what it, that's what it is with the underdog. They, the underdog's always going to give you a fight. They have the yeah. chip on their shoulders. Exactly. They're gonna, they're they really got a good, chip really, on their shoulders. Right, so they're hustling a little bit more. Yeah. They know they have to hustle a little bit more for this quicker yeah. um, boxer team, but right now the Lady Cougars are, are the quicker team. So Notre Dame will inbound it. Christian Barrett with the ball, who's had a great game. Ooh, blocked. Nice block by Jade Wimp, but uh, Antoinette did not realize the ball was right there for her to take. Shot no good. And it'll be a jump ball. The Lady, the lady Cougars are just no, showing no signs of slowing down. Not at all. They're still hustling after that rebound and getting the ball. Almost running circles around this Lady Boxer team. 
with their hustle. Shot is good off the glass. That's Colleen Lahif's first shot, first made shot, I believe, of the evening. She's the other captain. Bomb is no good. I think Lorenzo needs to come in a little bit closer. We'll see here the hustle of uh, Notre Dame. Yeah, Kristen Barrett makes this. Yeah, just, just great ball possession. Yep. Colleen Leahy with the, with the long ring shot off the glass. Off the glass and in. I mean, yeah, the, Bro yeah, the Brockton lady boxer coach is not trying to, he can't quite, seems like he can't kind of, can't, 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 cannot maneuver this. Well, really, the, this Notre he, Dame defense. he has no answer to Notre Dame's defense or offense this evening. It's just Notre Dame came in here to play basketball. They came in here with their A game this evening. And the lady, and the lady box is looking a little sluggish, just a little, just a little uncoordinated. Bit. Well, in this fourth quarter, they look frustrated because the lead was quite a bit. And um, I can understand the frustration, but um, they dug their own hole. Yes. So what they got to do is just shake off this this defeat, even though we've got four minutes, 20 seconds to go, but it's a 20-point uh, lead. Lorenzo, shot missed. Montero puts it back in. Nice job by Montero to get that offensive rebound. Shot by Barry, good. Bears had an outstanding wow, I mean, game. The, the Lady Cougars are just outstanding shooters. Just, wow. They are. And they're not, letting, they're not showing no signs of letting up. Uh, no signs. About three minutes, 40 seconds away from a victory. And they're going to call a foul on Jade Went. And that's Went yeah, third. What they've, what they've been doing all game. Find the open player and shoot it. Brockton just can't seem to guard the the the, the long range shot. No, they ha they have no answer. Um, big time breakdown on defense as far as um, covering that. Any and the problem is it's it's any of them that are out there shooting the threes. They're all hitting them. So which makes it even harder for the defense to adjust yeah. Yeah, when they, when you you've gotta, got. Two or th when you got three or four players out there for the uh, opposing team that can hit that three-point shot or hit the outside shot, just makes it a lot tougher. You just you just gotta you just gotta play tight, and they haven't been doing that. They just haven't they haven't they haven't switched it up. I think I think they're just a little lost a bit. I think they're a little lost. Shot by Antoinette is no good. And coach for Notre Dame is telling his ladies, let's use a little bit, relax, use the clock unless you got an easy shot. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to use some of this 30-second clock. They're down to eight seconds. Barrett, bang. Wow. That's been her MO all evening. You leave her open, yeah. she's going to hit that shot. Yeah, Kristen Barrett, the junior, having an outstanding game. Just putting the dagger. No good. This Jayla Smith, no good. Jade went, finally. Maybe, maybe a little, a bit too little, too late. So timeout with two minutes, 29 seconds left in this ball game. A 63-40 lead. You'll see Notre Dame. This is what they've been doing all day. Yeah, Barrett. Barrett yes. Three. Yes. It's good. Nothing but bottoms all evening for this uh, Notre Dame team. Yeah, smart, smart, smart basketball by Maria Pache. She's, she's, been, she's been playing great. The senior, the senior guard. She's been, she's been the number one contributor for this um, Notre Dame team. Yeah, yes, you have, along with Maria Pache, showing her leadership, her senior guard leadership. Yes, most certainly. She's been doing that. Um, Ava Foley has been hitting shots. As you say, Kristen Barrett. 
Uh, Haley Roberts has hit a few. Yeah, those, it's yeah. been a, uh, they've been contributing all around. It was definitely a team effort by this uh, Notre Dame Academy yeah. Lady Cougars coming in here. Yeah, they, 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 played, they, played, they played the hearts out today. They played the hearts out today. They're doing a great job. Drives in, and is it stolen? Yeah, Bro yeah, Brockton will. Re yeah, Brockton. Yeah, they got a rebound. They got a rebound from this from this losing effort. They're they're at Bridgewater. Right, they're at Bridgewater. Rain him January 18th, 6:30. A rivalry game. Let's see. Let's see how they they could do with that. Antoinette with the shot, no good. Antoinette, okay. And there's gonna be a foul call. So Barrett will go to the free throw line with one minute and 39 seconds left in this ball game. Yeah, the lady boxers are a bit shell shocked. They, they kind of. Yeah, they'll definitely be shaking their heads after this one. What happened? This uh, Notre Dame Academy team came in here with their A plus game. Second shot is off the rim. And stolen back by the Lady um, Cougars. Yeah, the Lady Boxers had the better players, but kind of. But the Notre Dame, the Notre Dame Lady Cougars just showed up with more heart, more grit. As as Jayla Smith gets the deuce. Might have, might have been a little bit too late for that full court trap. And actually, they've been they've been the full court trap's been going on since um, early on in this fourth quarter. But Notre Dame had no problem yeah, breaking yeah. breaking the yeah. press. Yeah, this Notre Dame Lady Cougar team, there a lot a lot of great dribblers on this team. Yes. They, yeah. A lot of great, dribblers. great dribblers and good passes. You'll see it. That was just a bad pass. Bad pass. Jayla Smith and took advantage dribbles. of it. Nice layup. These lady, lady Cougars are good free throw shooters too. They've made a good number of their um, free throw attempts yes. this evening. Shot is no good. Notre Dame rebound. Williams with the long bomb in and out. And that's basically what it's been like all game for the Lady Boxers. They can't buy a shot. 27 seconds left in this ball game. And the Lady Cougars will come out of here with a well-deserved win as they'll have a nice ride home and back to Hingham. With 10 seconds to go, Montero Misses. Layla with the rebound. And that's it, folks. The Lady Cougars come into boxer territory. 
and earned themselves a very nice victory over the Brockton Boxes, 66 to 42. And Chris, give your uh, observation of this basketball game. Yeah, my observation of this basketball game is ladies, the Lady Cougars kind of shocked me. They, they're great basketball players, but, but Brockton, really has, Brockton really didn't switch it up at all. There's no, they, did, they didn't change anything up. It was kind of, it was kind of strange. Yeah, they yeah they just couldn't they just couldn't respond honestly. Alexandra Williams struggled. She had many turnovers in this game. Yeah, and you'll see huh, they just on couldn't quite. They should, yeah, you'll see here on the um, on the, some of the replays, some of the greater points of the boxes. It seemed there wasn't many good points, but they tried and they just got outplayed this evening by this tough um, Lady Cougar team. Yeah, it's a surprising game. Surprising and shocking. So there you have it, folks. Lady Boxers go down in defeat. Now they're eight and three, and they were surprised by the three and six. Now the four and six Notre Dame Academy Lady Cougars. I'm Miles Jackson, along with my broadcast partner Chris Brazil. Until next time, we'll see everybody later.